All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about a four-way switch. Uh, a four-way switch means that we can turn on a light from three different places. So I have my three switches here. The first switch is the switch leg coming down from the light uh, in the box. The black wire from the switch leg gets hooked up to the black screw on the three wire or the three switch. Then the traveler wires get hooked up across from each other on the other two lugs on this three-way switch. Neutral wires are just put together. On the other three-way switch with the power, I have power coming in. So down here I have one power wire, then I have a going off to a, an outlet. So I have a second power wire. So those two power wires need to be hooked together with a pigtail. And then they go to the black screw on the three-way switch. The traveler wires coming from the other box are across from each other. The neutral wires are again hooked together. If you have a neutral on your switch, you can run a pigtail off this neutral and run it to your switch if you have one of the new neutral switches. Okay? Now, how do we hook up a four wire or a four way switch? Well, in this middle box, we have a three wire coming from this box right here, and then we have a three wire coming from the other switch box. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our grounds together. I like to give them a couple of twists and then tighten them up with some linesman's pliers, snip off one of the pieces, and then run your wire nut onto the ground. Next would come your ground or your neutral wires. So you take the two neutral wires, you hook them together. off three quarters of an inch of wire. Take your red wire nut and hooking them together. Last thing is the travelers. On the back of a four-way switch, you know you have the four screws Two of them are black and two of them are gold on this one. You have an input screw and you have an output screw. Okay? So the traveler wires coming from the input box, which is the power box coming in this way, so that would be these two wires right here. They're going to be attached to the input side of your switch, which means they'll be across from each other. And this one would be your output side and then they would be put on the two gold screws across from each other so let me strip these off real quick those are my inputs these would be my outputs I'm going to put a in so got the ground so the first thing I do is I can attach my ground to the ground screw
and then I have my input. So my input would be these two right here. into your circuit. 